Hi, I'm Doc Brown with Line 6, and in this video, we're going to dive into the features and models that Helix Firmware 3.0 adds to all Helix family products. 3.0 is a major firmware update that adds 21 new models and a ton of other performance and experience enhancing features to Helix family products. Let's start checking out some of those models. 3.0 adds three amp models and two cabinet models for all Helix and HX Stomp users. Let's check out the US Princess, which is based on a classic American style amp. Three point oh adds five distortion models, including three fuzz effects. Let's hear the three fuzz effects: the pocket fuzz, the bighorn fuzz, and the ballistic fuzz. <laughs> There's also an acoustic simulator for coaxing acoustic guitar sounds out of an electric guitar. adds two delay models, poly sustain and one of my favorites, the glitch delay. The glitch delay is a line six original effect that's a performance tool in itself. The glitch delay lets you freely manipulate delay repeats in real time. Poly sustain is a delay effect that lets you capture a note or chord that you can then play over. One of the most long-awaited features in Helix 3.0 are the five polyphonic pitch effects. <laughs>
One cool aspect of the polyphonic pitch model is I can control how long it takes to arrive and move away from the target pitch when I activate and bypass the effect. also adds a dynamic gate, shuffling looper, and stereo imager to all Helix family products. Beyond the addition of amp cab and effect models, there are also a good number of useful and long requested features in 3.0. One of these features is True Preset Spillover. True Preset Spillover allows you to seamlessly change presets and have all your delay and reverb trails spill over as you change presets. However, to use this feature, you must disable Path 2, which can be done in the Global Settings menu. True Preset Spillover lets Helix momentarily run two presets, so when you switch presets, there is no audio gap, and all your delays and reverb trails from the previous preset decay into the new one. If you don't want to sacrifice DSP to do this, you can always use snapshots inside a preset for seamless switching and preserving reverb and delay trails. 3.0 adds features that help you build presets even quicker than before. The first of these features is the Favorites feature, which lets you save an amper effect block with your save settings, foot switch assignment, and you can even give your favorite a custom name. The favorites list appears first in the model category list for quick access, or even simpler, select an empty block in your signal chain and use the joystick to instantly scroll through your favorites list. A quick tip for those using external pedals in an effects loop. You can save the effects loop as a favorite and rename it to match your external pedals. The second feature that helps you build tones quicker is user defaults. User defaults allow you to save your parameter settings for a specific amp or effect block in the model list. Every time you go to build or edit a preset and return to that amp or effect in the model list, it will already have your saved settings. Unlike favorites, this doesn't save foot switch assignment or allow for custom naming. 3.0 also adds a setting for determining how the guitar in's impedance circuit behaves when set to auto. When set to first block, the impedance circuit reflects the impedance of the first block in path 1A, whether it is enabled or bypassed. When set to first enabled, the impedance circuit reflects the impedance of the first enabled block in your signal chain on path 1A. 3.0 includes a number of small but experience enhancing features like min and max value indicators. Parameters assigned to controllers or snapshots now display small, minimum, and maximum indicators. 3.0 also adds two features specifically for HX Stomp. HX Stomp now has eight simultaneous blocks, meaning you can add two more blocks to your signal chain, DSP permitting. Using Command Center, you can program MIDI commands, assign individual preset, snapshot, and looper commands to a foot switch in stop mode, and also assign QWERTY key commands to control any macOS or Windows software over USB. You can even use these commands to control your favorite streaming apps and websites. Helix Native now has the same tuner found in Helix Family Hardware products. You can choose from coarse, fine, and strobe tuners all within Helix Native. You'll also find gain reduction meters on compressors and gate blocks in Helix Native. Helix 3.0 comes with presets created by Line 6 artists, including Bumblefoot, Billy Sheehan, Misha Mansour, Steve Howe, and more. And finally, I want to share a cool resource for anybody who owns a Helix family product or PodGo. Line 6 product specialists like myself are offering free one-on-one -on -one hour-long Helix Skype lessons. All you have to do is head to helix underscore lessons.eventbrite.com, fill out the form, and you will be put in contact with the Line 6 product specialist to schedule your lesson. Thanks for checking out this overview of firmware 3.0 for Helix family products. For more information, be sure to check out line6.com.